Hello, this is Rakesh and the question given to us is that to find the number of distinct terms in this expansion that is a plus b plus c plus d to the power 30 and these are the options. Now how to approach these questions? Let us start with a simulation. When I take simulation, I take small part of the given question. So here if there are four variables used that is a b c and d and power 30 what i'll do is i'll take smaller values and smaller number of variables so if i take say a plus b to the power 2 which we know that the expansion of the same is a square plus 2ab plus b square so if i count the number of terms here the number of terms is 3 so if i increase the power a plus b to the power 3 then we know that this is a cube plus 3 times a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube. Again adding the number of terms it will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. And let me take one another example that is a plus b plus c to the power 2. So it will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times of ab plus 2 times of bc and 2 times of ca. So here the total number of terms used is 6. Now what is happening here? Let us rewrite the last expansion. If I want to have all the variables a, b, c in every term then how do I write? How do I write a square in terms of how do I write a square when I have to use all three a, b, c? So mathematically I can write it as a square b to the power 0 and c to the power 0 plus b square can be written as a to the power 0, b to the power 2 and c to the power 0. Similarly c can be written as this way and 2a, b can be written as 2 times of a to the power 1, b to the power 1, c to the power 0. Similarly the other factors, other terms can be written as 2 a to the power 0, b to the power 1, c to the power 1 and the last one will be 2, a to the power 1, b to the power 0 and c to the power 1. Now observe the power, observe the sum of the powers, a plus b plus c or the sum of the powers of all the three variables in each term is 2. Here also 0, 2, 0, again 2, 0, 0, 2, again 2, 1, 1, 0, again 2, so and so forth. Now if I observe all these three questions, what do I find is, this question is nothing but a question where I have to distribute two identical apples among three children. There are three children, the children will be different obviously. So if I apply the formula that is n plus r minus 1, c r minus 1, we will get here n is 2 and r is 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 so these this resolves to 4 c 2 and 4 c 2 the expansion is 6. So extending the logic I can say that in this expansion I can simulate this question as I have to distribute 30 identical apples among four children. Again using the same formula that will be 30 plus 4 minus 1 c 4 minus 1. So it is 33 c 3 and which is nothing but option B. Thank you.